Hello everyone, Reza here. In this video, I will show you how to customize the gallery experience in Power Apps by leveraging modern controls. We will use the tab list control, the batch control, and the header control in unique ways to represent our data. So let's check it out in action. The home screen of my Power App has a modern table control that lists out the data from my data source. In my scenario, it's a simple SharePoint list that tracks event information. If I select a specific event, this will lead me to the form screen experience where I can see all the details about the event. There is an approval process also tied to an event request that comes in and the user can select the approvers. I have this nice approval status indicator that lists out the approvers. It's a serial approval action. Currently the status is pending approval. The task is assigned to Sarah. Reza has already approved it. And I can look at the running approval history as the process moves ahead. Now let's take this home screen experience and design it differently by using a combination of the standard gallery control and modern controls. To create the screen, I'll head over to new screen and pick one of the new modern screen templates called header and gallery screen. This screen is already built keeping responsive design principles in mind. Whether I view this on a desktop experience or a tablet experience held horizontally, vertically, or a mobile device experience, you can see how the entire screen is responsive by design. And all this is thanks to the responsive container controls that the screen leverages. Let's focus on the gallery experience. The data source for the gallery, I will pick my connected events info SharePoint list. In this gallery, there are responsive container controls. One of the containers here is to display an image. In my case, I don't have an image to display for events. I'll go ahead and remove this container. If I want to change the size of the gallery items, the gallery control has a template size property. I'll change this to, let's say 265. Gallery has a property called template padding. I'll give it a padding of 20. And then the gallery container, its height, I'll set it to parent.template height. And its width, I'll change it to parent.template width. If I preview this, view it on a tablet experience or a mobile device experience, a fully responsive experience. Within the gallery container, there is a title container that is a vertical container. So every control that we add within it will be stacked vertically. These are already modern controls. The text property is set to featured item. I'll change this to this item dot title to show the title of my event. I'll set the alignment of the text to center. Description, text, I'll show the description of my event. To show the start date and end date of the event, I'll select the title container and insert the modern text control, alignment, stretch, its text property, this item dot start date and time. I would also like to show the end date and time. Next, I would like to show the session type. Session type is displayed in this nice pill design experience. And I would like to also show the session code. 
and these two i would like to place them horizontally next to each other inside the title container title container is a vertical container so i'll select title container and go and insert a horizontal container within it the minimum height for this container i'll reduce it to 50 so it sits in the space and within this container i will go and insert a text control this will be to show the session code now select the horizontal container and to show the session type i will go and insert the modern batch control i'll give this control a width of 150 and the content property of the batch control i will use this item dot session type dot value as in my scenario it's a choice column i'll select the horizontal container horizontal justification center drop shadow effect i'll set it to none in vertical alignment also i'll put it in the center now the session type i would like to change the color code select the batch control under properties style and theme as the option of color palette it's currently empty so it's picking the default color of my modern theme that is set for my power app let's change this conditionally so for the batch controls base palette color property i'll use the switch function switch on this item dot session type dot value if the value is breakout use color dot purple if the value is keynote color dot green and i've gone ahead and plugged in all my color codes to show the main status of the event in my main gallery container i will go and insert the modern header control firstly the height for this control i'll reduce it to 50 the header control has an option to display a logo i'll go ahead and turn it off then it has a property title i'll change this to this item dot status dot value so i can see the status values if i head over to advanced property for the header control and search for user user image shows the image of the user i will change this to this item dot created by dot picture if i would like to show the image of the user who created the item username if i hover over the user image it will show the username in my scenario the approval information is stored in a column called approval history so for username i'll use this item dot approval history so now as i hover over these items it will show all the approval history information the header control properties style and theme i have the color palette option the property is called base palette color i can apply conditional formatting this time i'll switch on this item dot status dot value if it's approved color dot green if it's pending approval i'll pick the color golden rod and if it's rejected i'll pick the color red so you can see how the header control displays the status along with the color plus the approval history information i need to adjust the height of the controls in my title container title container padding top is 20 i'll reduce that to 12 bottom make it zero my description I'll adjust its height and the horizontal container I added. I'll reduce the minimum height here 40. My approvers. I would like to list out the approvers here in the order in which the approvers were selected. 
and also show the status of the decision that the approver has taken. This button container is a vertical container. I'll change it to horizontal. Then this, I would like to go and insert the modern tab list control. I'll reorder this to move to the left. I'll set its height to 40. Items property expects an array. I have a multi-select person type column. So the approvers that the user selects is stored in this column. Plus I have the current status of this entire event. And I also have information about how many decisions were taken. So if we take this item as an example, the final status is approved, meaning both the approvers have said approved. Total decisions taken is two. For this specific item, there were three approvers. The final status is rejected and two decisions were taken, means the second approver rejected it. For the items property of the tabless control, for all, use the sequence function, count rows, this item dot approvers. For each of these, show this record dot value. That'll be the index of that approver. And I will concatenate this with, with a hyphen and concatenate this with index of this item dot approvers, comma, this record dot value dot go and get the display name of my approver. Now this tabless control, I'll make sure flexible width is on. So this gets the maximum width in this container. If I preview, you can see how it's listing out my approvers. Now to this, I would also like to show the status. I have changed the items property as follows. I've written logic to check to see if the current index does that match the number of decisions taken and based on that check the status value if approved put the check emoji if rejected put the cross emoji else the only other option is pending approval so in that case i show a stopwatch emoji i also check to see if the current index is less than the number of decisions taken plus one if yes meaning the approver had approved it that's why I show the check emoji and then I follow up with the standard details, which is the index and the approvers display name. So now you can clearly see the status of the approval along the way. Who the approvers are, in which order, who rejected, who approved and whose decision is currently pending. Company event, status rejected, who rejected, James. The comments are right here. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching.